to the 2022 Tea Talk with a Buddhist monk live streaming hosted by the Korean Culture and Information Service. My name is Amanda, I'm from Brazil and I'm gonna be your host tonight. I really want to know a little bit more about you guys, so please write down here in the comments where you guys are from or where you at right now. And while you're telling me this, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the live comment event that's gonna be happening during the live streaming. What is about? During the live streaming, please pay attention in the live streaming chat because during the live, three questions are gonna appear and if you get the correct answers of it, you may get a coupon from Amazon or Instamarks. How are you gonna get this? Really, really simple. You pay attention in the live streaming and then get the correct answers. You're gonna send these answers to us by the Google form that's also gonna appear in the chat. So if you, you can participate for one, two, three times, more times you participate, more chance to win. Understood? Very good and good luck. Now I'm watching on TV because we are very chic. My friends, we have a TV here that I can see all your comments and I can see that we have Brazil friends, people from Colombia, US, India. Wow, I'm so happy I feel so international. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. And let's start it because this live stream is all about Can You Next Adventures. And Can You Next Adventures 2022 was all about Sansa, which means the Buddhist mountain monasteries in Korea. During the episodes of this year, we visit some temples, we participate in events, rituals, and even eat some temple food. And during all this process, we got to know a little bit more about Buddhist culture. And finally, in the last episode, which is today, the Central Buddhist Museum wants to introduce a little bit more about Buddhism culture to you through this talk show. So here we are, exactly, we are in the Central Buddhist Museum, which is located in Seoul, South Korea. And it's operated by Toge Order of Korean Buddhism. And in this museum, we have exhibitions. It provides Buddhism education and protects treasures. But better than talking about it, is showing it. And our KUNA squad adventures are going to a private tour and take you guys with them. Please enjoy it. 반갑습니다. 저 불교 중앙 박물관 국장 소물 맡은 성민입니다. <웃음> 최근에는 전국의 사찰을 관리하는 25개의 교구 본사 중에 한 사찰을 선정하여 전시를 진행하고 있습니다. 그리고 전시 중인 사찰에 관련해서 교육도 진행하고 있고요. 또각 사찰에서 관리하기 힘든 성보 문화재를 기탁을 받아서 보존 관리는 물론 그리고 또 가치를 인정받을 수 있게끔 조사 연구도 함께 진행하고 있습니다. 지금 전시되고 있는 등은사, 고은사는 경상북도 의성에 위치하고 있습니다. 통일신라 시대인 681년에 의상스님께서 창건한 사찰이고 천년 고찰이라고 합니다. 그리고 지금 앞에 보이고 계시는 석가모니 부처님께서 깨달음을 이루신 후에 마왕 파순과 진인의 이야기를 담은 항마 촉진의 수인을 하고 계신 석가모니 부처님의 모습을 표현한 불상입니다. 네, 이쪽으로 오시죠. 네. 여러분 혹시 신과 함께 영화 보셨어요? 네, 봤어요. 그 신과 함께 나오는 그 주인공 분들이 여기 계십니다. 진짜요? 네, 요 간세 여기 가, 가운데 계신 분이 지장 보살님이시고 옆에 도명 종자 무덤개양이 있고요. 혹시 이 여기를 보면 손이 항상 다르게 되어 있는데 그것에 의미가 있을까요? 네, 제일 중요한 질문이에요. 모든 부처님의 손 모양은 수인이라고 하거든요. 이 수인은 다 의미가 있어요. 아미타 부처님께서는 중생을 구제하시는 그런 수인을 하고 계시거든요. 그리고 제가 아까 석가모니 부처님은 항마 촉진의 수인을 하고 계신다고 했잖아요. 그 부처님의 모습은 다 똑같지만 손 모양에 따라 부처님을 다르게 예, 네, 알수 있어요. 봉정사 목조 가는 보살 자상하고 어, 보강사 목조 가는 보살 자상이에요. 고려 시대의 귀족적인 불교 문화를 보여주는 대표적인 두 가는 보살 자상이신데요. 
한 분은 봉정사 목조 가는 보살 자상이고 또한 분은 보광사 목조 가는 보살 자상이십니다. 어, 전시대 230여 점의 성부 문화재를 다 설명드릴 수가 없어서 조금 안타깝긴 하지만 그래도 이번 기회에 한국 불교 문화를 이해하는데 조금이나마 도움이 되셨으면 기쁘겠습니다. 네, 네. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 네. Welcome back, guys. Did you enjoy the tour? It was really interesting, wasn't it? Now it's time to invite the Kenyan Squad Adventures to join a little tea ceremony with me. Welcome, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. hey. I'm so happy to have you here. Come on. Lisa, introduce yourselves to our friends. Hi guys, my name is Korea. I'm from Canada. It's nice to meet you all. Hi everyone, this is Majid from Pakistan. So nice to meet you all. Hi, this is Mariana from Brazil. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Hi, this is Amanda from Brazil. It's <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Iman and I'm from the United States. And Hi everyone, my name is Nadia and I'm from Russia. Hope you enjoyed the Kayunaska Adventures. Ooh. Hi everyone, I'm Aisha from Turkey. Glad to see you here. Wow. Really nice to see you all here. And now it's time to introduce you our VIP guest, the one who's going to answer our deepest questions, our Venerable Noon Top Day. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 하이. 하이. 선님, please introduce yourself. Sure, yeah. Uh, uh, hello, everyone, uh, in the studio, and then hello to you all uh, who is watching this uh, from afar through online streaming service. Uh, my name is Tokje, uh, a Korean bikini and Korean nun in South Korea. <laughs> I'm talking Korea twice. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Right, uh, nice to meet you all, and I'm here to answer uh, all the questions um, you've been wondering about, mm -hmm. okay. and I will do my best. Thank you. You're gonna do great. Thank, Thank you so much. So good. Yeah. 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 And while we're doing this, she's going to answer some questions made by our cast members and by you, exactly. This moment is happening at a big live stream event called Ask a Buddhist Monk Any Question. This event is happening since October and more than 160 people participating sending their, their questions to us. So wow. thank you very much. We selected three questions, and these three <laughs> you thought was going to be forever. So you want to do that time for 160 <laughs> questions? <laughs> <laughs> so we selected three questions, and the three winners are going to show up during the live streaming to make the questions, and I hope you really enjoy it. So let's meet our first winner. Hello, my name is Michelle Paris, and I'm from Malta. My question is, are Korean Buddhist monks different from other Buddhist monks around the world? If so, how are they different? In what way? I don't know much about the subject, but I do recall seeing monks wearing different attire and different colors. I hope you can enlighten me with your reply. Thank you for choosing my question for the live. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Michelle, for your question, and congratulations for being one of our winners. Ooh. So, Sunim, what would be the answer for this question? Uh, hi, Michelle Paris. <laughs> uh, thank you for your question. It's very interesting. I uh, never thought about it, actually, uh, to be honest. And I think, uh, yes, our uh, look, appearance, and clothing, and maybe the, um, the way of we practice toward enlightenment uh, would be different. And I heard that uh, the, the status of the female monks in South Korea, it's much higher oh. compared to other religions and, and other uh, 
Buddhist countries. Oh. Oh. So actually, the female monks uh, take the same responsibilities as the male monks. Mm. So we are almost like an equal. So we can oh. lead the ceremony, and then we can be uh, we can be an important part uh, oh, in a monastery. That's great. That's great. That's great. I'm, I'm happy. If you are active you. feminist. Yeah. <laughs> But actually, my more message is that okay, we all look different, but actually, uh, we have more in common mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because oh, I beautiful. look at all the Buddhists as a spiritual wanderer who look for their spiritual awakening mm -hmm. sincerely. So the way we approach the method is different, but. We are looking for the freedom of the soul, hopefully eternally. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I really want to give a big cloud, uh, what is it? big applause oh, yes. 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 Uh, for their endeavor and then hard work. Okay. Oh, oh, we have our first cast member question. Who is the one who's going to make the question? Ooh. 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 <laughs> so the first question I have is, what does the tea ceremony mean to Buddhists? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. very good question. <laughs> uh, we are going to have a tea ceremony soon. Yeah. Uh, I look at it as a part of uh, practice, but in a more relaxed way. Mm -hmm. um, because um, uh, when we drink the tea, then I'm not really actually perform performing now, but when I pour the water, then I hear the sound of the water dripping. Mm -hmm. And also at the same time, I pay attention to my heartbeat. And if I hold the cup, tea cup, then I feel the texture of the cup. And I see the, with my eyes and I see the color of the tea and feel the temperature and then the smell. So everywhere I move, then I pay attention to the whole process. Wow. So in that way, then you can be relaxed and then be a lot at the same time. So it's part of practice. Wow. wow. I never thought about it. Like <laughs> all the little steps and yeah. everything that it's involved, you know, like Yeah, like tea, tea ceremony is really special. Like I know it's a process of meditation and every single part of it actually matters. Mm -hmm. Since the the moment they are picking out the leaves and then making the tea and serving the tea and until you actually drink it. Mm -hmm. oh, I have my first experience, like tea ceremony experience, in Sonamsa Temple. Oh. Oh. It was, it was great. It was, yes. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. The tea ceremony was exactly how you said. All the, you have to pay attention. Because I think like when we are in the busy world, mm -hmm. we are doing a lot of things yeah. at the yeah. same time. Yeah. We're not actually oh, concentrated yes. in one thing only. Yeah. Yes. And in pilot. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, we are just like making yeah. like, like a machine. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I've, I, I, exactly how you said, yes. like we have to feel every single part of it from the, for the looking, for the like touching and then feeling the taste. It was really, really good. Thank you so much for answering yeah. me. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be my first one. <laughs> so actually, this is the green tea leaves. Uh -huh. And uh, what I'm going to do, um, could you hold maybe two or three uh, leaves in your, yeah, okay. in your hand? I think I'll give you. So maybe it should have been enough. All of us, right? Thank you. She's going to look cool and look better in our hands. I think it's going to be enough. It smells really good. Can you give me the enough? Oh, yes, yes. I like the sound. It's not your dinner, so. <laughs> It's not your dinner. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> not your dinner. Just one sip. Oh, that's so good. Want, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's what I want yeah. you to do. Uh, just yeah. to smell it. Oh, and, um, I thought we we're gonna eat can it. Can you smell <laughs> it? It's just um, one one leaf, mm -hmm. but it has a great smell. Yeah. Yes, it and mm -hmm. and also if you just chew it, mm -hmm. then you can. Oh, we can. Can mm, we? You can taste it. Mm. 
It's a bit crunchy. It. it is. You're right. Ooh. And actually, uh, this leaf is very small. Uh, that means in early spring, when the new leaves came, yeah. then we uh, pick the new leaves. And the very delicate one uh, has very subtle taste mm -hmm. and very nutty taste as well. Yeah. So we have a green tea in South Korea. And actually, this is from uh, Jiri Mountain, which is the southern part of South Korea. Okay. She <laughs> might. No, actually, for the green tea, because uh, the leaves are very um, delicate, mm -hmm. then I have to wait until the water cools down a bit. Oh. Oh. So otherwise, it get, gets burned. Okay. So, so to start with, then I have to lower the temperature a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Then um, if water is too hot, then it tastes bitter. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So let's go for this. Why we are waiting for uh -huh. the leaves? To get colder, huh? Let's go for the second question for mm. our second winner of the event. Please call our second winner. Hello, everybody. My name is Adriana from Mexico, and my question to the monk is: Why did you choose to become a monk? Thank you so much for sharing your life with us. First of all, congratulations, Adriana, for being one of our winners. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell you guys before, but each one of our winners is going to get a tea ceremony set. Wow. And you're like, oh. yes. I so. need that. Yeah. 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 So, so, Adriana, you're going to be waiting for your tea set. It's going to arrive soon. Wow. And she did a really personal question, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. And I'm actually a little bit curious about it, too. You're all curious, actually. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, it's... Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, actually, I, um, I cannot believe this happened to me mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> yes. It has been 15 years now, oh. but... Um, um, how can I say? Yeah, I'm going to start with this one. Mm -hmm. um, because the country where like, uh, Buddhism is very old, like uh, Korea, then the monks either to be born as a monk, mm -hmm. or people think that we become a monk because we broke up with a boyfriend or girlfriend. No. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> It's not uh, my case, but um, actually uh, I didn't have a religion until when I was over 30 years old. Really? And yes, no. that's about 15 years ago, so you can no, guess no, no. my I age now. <laughs> Seriously. But she was 19 two years ago. <laughs> Sorry. And, and, and I never thought that I would have any religion ex mm. actually, but one day a Buddhist monk came and he gave us a uh, Dharma speech and it was all about uh, finding who you are. Mm. And actually, maybe I was a, bit, a little bit active feminist before. Mm. <laughs> maybe <laughs> my blood is made of uh, feminism <laughs> back when I was young. But, um, but all of a sudden, uh, his speech uh, destroyed my fundamental word, uh, my, my word uh, from the beginning. Mm. And what I thought was very important became not important anymore. Mm. And the whole ground of my, myself mm. just completely <coughs> gone. And I started having questions like, uh, who am I and what I am and who's talking now and so on. But um, this question became stronger and stronger and then kind of drove me, drove me to uh, deeper and deeper. And my whole way of looking at things and the importance of the life changed dramatically. Mm. And I thought that uh, maybe I have to find the answer. And I wanted to be, uh, I, I couldn't be away from the question. So mm -hmm. 
uh, in the end, um, I decided to become a monk. Wow. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's my story. Oh, thank you for oh. sharing that. Very sorry, I felt yeah. we, we got a connection, a deeper connection now. Sunim, so, I have a question because yeah. you, you told us that um, it's been 15 years that you've been a monk. Mm -hmm. um, but how long is it to become a monk? Do you have like an age limit or do you have any procedures or do you have any guidelines that you need to follow? How is it to become a monk? Like how long do you need to become a monk? Do you want to be a monk? Well, <laughs> to be Why honest, that? I've been questioning a lot of things in my life. Uh, <laughs> right, really right. She's honest. also 30s, so, like uh, you. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, so, the possibility. Yes. Yeah, it might be, to mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for me, it took me about six years to be fully ordained Pikshuni, okay. uh, female monk. Mm. Then I did about one year full training as a real trainee. So you have to put your hands down. And I did farming, cleaning, you know, working so hard. Mm -hmm. And another year as a trainee monk, so okay. novice monk, then studied another four years after it in a Sangha university. Okay. Then that's not really university because mm -hmm. we working more than study. <laughs> so. But during that time, then we kind of get our attitude mm. um, and uh, learn a uh, lot of sutras. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, and, the, so, so it's, and the age limit is mm -hmm. about uh, before 50 years old. I don't know whether it's old age or young age, but okay. you have a big high <laughs> and maybe you and you, you are old. 50. So, so people until 50 years old can get, can become monk? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Would you like to try some? Yes, yes. 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 let's do this. Can we do it? Yeah. Is there any particularity that we should do or just? Uh, no, actually, you know, maybe you know the Korean way of drinking alcohol. Mm. Oh. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> right, but it's not the same. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I like it's for, the, uh, for the tea oh. ceremony, it's an uh, equal seat. Oh, so you okay. just take a uh, hold your cup, mm -hmm. take up, yeah. and just drink it. Mm. Wow. Tea. And the flavor of the leaves, like you can feel it, but it's not as strong as the leaves mm -hmm. itself, but it's so good. Yeah. Very earthy. Yes. Uh, so can I ask a question, by the way? Uh, so I was in, uh, I have attended the Yongsan Jie. Yes. Uh, like it was one of the best experiences and I got to know a lot about Buddhism also. And there was a really big painting. My, my Korean pronunciation is bad, but I'll, I'll try to pronounce it. I, I, it it's called Kebul. Yes. Okay, okay, right? <laughs> uh, be careful with so, the uh, okay. pronunciation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for. Otherwise, you became Kemu. 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 Uh, when we have a big ceremony like a Yong Sanje, uh, uh, then many people want to come into the main Dharma hall, and there are a certain number of people who can go in. So instead, in um, in Joseon Dynasty, I think they started making this uh, painting about which is f from 17th century, I believe. Then. Uh, uh, because the, uh, this big painting is uh, uh, put up in uh, outside of the main Dharma hall, so many people can still see the Buddha and attend the worship. So that's the main purpose of the painting. And guys, now we're going to meet our third and final winner. So let's listen to her question. Hello everyone, my name is Farin Khatun and I'm from India. 
my question to the monk is i always found monks bring happiness and smile they have a different set of peaceful minds my question is that in the world of being all time stressed and worried how to achieve such calmness inside your heart how to make happiness a habit wow congratulations for the thank you thank you. <laughs> thank you for your question so it was a really deep one so let's see what or sinim has to teach us about this uh, i think tonight the <laughs> participants are quite intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> deep questions, deep they, questions. They, find, they somehow found a very difficult question. <laughs> um, I'm just asking myself now, then, oh, Tokje, are you happy? Or are you happier now compared to before? Then I would say, yes, I am. Then why is all the surroundings are better than before? Then I say, no. Mm-hmm. But why you still feel happier? Then I think since I became a monk, then I started to learn how to, uh, how can I say? Appreciate more. Uh, uh, how, uh, it's more like, uh, before I was more like, I was right. All the time. Mm. She and him and I all wrong. <laughs> I'm the right one. Mm. Mm. But now I look at the possibility that I could be wrong. Mm. So every time I kind of watch, then when things going right, then everything is going smoothly and then the whole atmosphere is good. But when I'm against my own um, when I really want to be egocentric, then I kind of sense that there's some kind of very strong feeling that or sometimes want maybe having a like a little bit rough feeling towards other people. Mm-hmm. Like I want to win over her, mm-hmm. like that kind of feeling. Then before I couldn't take a notice of this feeling, mm-hmm. but now slowly I feel, oh, okay. Now my ego is talking, mm. so at least I try to be silent mm. in that moment. And then wait until I become better. Um, then at least um, as kind of a, I'm being ready for myself that to be kind and nice person as I am now. Then I speak. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's how I do it. Awesome, well, thank you so much for your yeah, sharing. And congratulations for the three winners of yeah. the big yeah. event. Yeah. Yeah. Great questions. Yeah. Michelle, yeah. Michelle Adriana Farin, congratulations. Your presence is going to your home. <laughs> and thank you, everybody who joined us in the live stream. Thank you, thank you for the participation. And please remember to participate in the live comment event. Okay, send your answers and good luck with your coupon prize. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it as we did. And it was really nice to see you. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.